welcome to my channel in today's lecture session we will continue with the economics part so we will discuss the williamson managerial discretion model so for simple and precise lecture sessions do like share and subscribe my channel in this model williamson discussed about the owner and the management he said that the owner and management are two different groups the shareholder or the owners wants profit maximization while the manager or the management wants to maximize their own utilities as per this model the manager try to maximize his utility in such a way that minimum amount of profit is given to the shareholder so in order to safeguard uh, their jobs the managers Uh, should have to provide a minimum amount of profit to the shareholders or the owners so this is what this concept says so the managers utility is given by this formula that is um uh, is equal to the function of sm in it here s is the salary and other monetary benefits given to the management and uh, m is the management emoluments which includes like luxury offices the laptops uh, the cards and other uh, items like phones etc and the id is the discretionary investment which is the funds left after paying dividend and uh, taxes these funds are used by managers in various projects so this is on the managers utility function next comes the owners or the shareholders utility function which depends upon profits the profits can be the actual profit uh, which is denoted by pi a if we subtract uh, cost and staff expenditure from revenue we get the actual profit then is the reporting profit which is the profit that is uh, reported to the tax authorities so it is uh, denoted by pi r so if we subtract managerial emoluments from actual profit we get the reporting profit then is the minimum profit so as we have discussed in the definition part it is the profit which is required for the business organization to survive and the managers should also provide this amount of uh, profit to the shareholders in order to safeguard their jobs the reporting profit should cover the minimum profit and the taxes then the fourth one is is the discretionary profit so if we subtract the taxes and minimum profit from actual profit we get the discretionary profit then the last one is the discretionary investment Uh, which we denote by it so if we subtract the minimum profit and the taxes from the reporting profit we get the discretionary investment so this discretionary investment increases the utility of both the managers and the shareholders we will discuss this williamson concept through this profit staff curve so here on uh, y axis we have discretionary profit and on uh, x axis we have the staff expenditure so in this given formula s is the staff expenditure and uh, dp is the discretionary profit here at point p the profit is maximum and uh, ic which is the indifference curve that shows the managerial utility the managerial utility is higher at uh, ut1 so as shown in this uh, graph at point q the managerial utility is maximum and uh, at this point the management also gives the minimum amount of profit to the shareholders so i hope now this model is clear to you so this was all in today's uh, lecture session in which we discussed the Williamson model thank you